this is the Sphere 13 and welcome to an episode of World of Tanks. Now, last week I had said that I will be doing videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And that will still hold true, but it seems like the second I made that I got quite a bit of material to use. So, in this episode you'll get two replays of me and my T21. Now, it's not a tank that I play often. I'm not normally a light tanks person. I just hadn't played it in a while. I was like, you know, I should probably start trying to get through this, trying to get the um, auto loaders that come after this. Because I've never actually had a true auto loader before. I have the machine gun of the PZ1C and those tanks, the T1 Cunningham. I don't know if the Lull Tractor gets one. But I've worked through those tanks fairly quickly, so I've never really had an experience where it's like, okay, here's a fairly decent caliber auto loader. Now, again, I'm not the best light tanks driver, so any mistakes, I just, just throw them under the bus. We, we don't talk about those. <laughs> but yeah, it's definitely been a while and I actually completed a few missions in this thing. There's two or three more after the two in here of replays in this thing. I, it's not a bad little tank. For starters, this thing's got the starting gun of the T-29. I think it's that 90 millimeter gun. Which, to be honest, quite nice on a what tier 7 heavy tank but it's the starting gun and won't, won't get you very far this is a light tank <laughs> this thing will see the same matchmaking as that tier 7 heavy except you don't have any armor instead you get speed maneuverability no it's not the most maneuverable and it's not the most speedy and it's probably not the most stealthy but if you don't dunk a shot into a dead tank, it does have a pretty considerable gun. Again, it's a light tank with a heavy tank gun of the next tier up. That's pretty good if you ask me. Now, back to the whole situation of how I'm going to be able to do all this. As you may have noticed, Monday was a World of Warships video with it unorthodox, at least for me, unorthodox thumb, thumbnail. It was one of those, I've got extra time, all this is rendering still kill, quick, uh, quick kill still right there. Well, I'm rendering, so I might as well do something with the time. So, I am foreseeably, I say foreseeably, I'm not exactly 100% sure, but foreseeably, that's what I'm going to be able to do. Now, it's probably not the most entertaining thing. And I know right here I'm getting completely and utterly useless. I'm trying to play like a tank destroyer in a light tank, but... Again, we don't talk about my mistakes in light tanks. It's not my forte. But... With the whole three days thing, I get approximately one whole day, or one whole session, I should say, of rendering, record, well, recording, narrating, rendering, and uploading. And within that time, there's quite a bit. Now, normally, the reason why I wouldn't do that is. I'd have five to record, upload, well, record, narrate, upload, and right here I was really expecting that ELC to just pop around the corner for me, but a lack of last is not to be. Instead, I get a medium tank to play with, and if this next shot hadn't missed, it would have been a lot more fun for me, but instead I have to pull back to make sure I don't get shot at by the medium, and uh, the wild ELC. Now I'm a one-shot kill for him, and I'm trying to do what I can to make sure I'm not the easy kill. Now first of all, I'm moving and then stop. Yeah. 
that's the funny thing when you get to about this too. You get the people who are like, okay, he's gonna keep moving, he's gonna keep moving, he's gonna keep moving. Oh, what? He didn't. He moved? He changed direction? But yeah, ELC goes down, other heavy tank goes down. That we play so. On to the next one. Now, again, not the most, but I do quite a bit of spotting damage. And I think it was, oh, what was it? The tenth light tank mission that I completed for this. Now, it is odd for me not to be like, I've got another one immediately after this, I've got another one immediately after this, because I, I really don't. Now, it's been about a day or two since I recorded the World of Warships one, so... It's not in my face, in my face, in my face, in my face. I've got time to actually build up something to say. Now, is it going to get me the most out there? No, not likely. I'm probably more likely to get more viewers and basically expand the channel if I did one video every single day. But it feels right doing it like this. It does not feel like I'm trying to smash my head against the forehead with after three videos going, oh, what am I going to say next? Because it's not like that. I just get to talk and talk and talk. Which, for some of you out there, are like, ah, oh, please shut up already. We get it. But for me, it's it's nice to just be able to sit here and go, okay, I've still got quite a bit of time. Now, as tempting as it was to shoot this KV-5, I probably would have wouldn't have penned and I would have given my position away. Not saying, I, well, I probably would have given my position away. Now, one of the best things that happened in this replay is an accidental suicide by the enemy light tank that sat at the back of the map for most of the game and decided to charge me. Which, it, it, you'll see, you'll see it when you see it, but... Yeah, I... I have, let's see, the ELC... The leopard in this thing when it comes to light tanks that will possibly see tier eights. Now, because I have a tier, I'm I'm pretty certain of what will happen a tier eight game and what will not. Am I a hundred percent master of it? No, no one is. If 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 anyone was hundred percent mastered at the game, you'd see them start a reroll account and never lose. And I'm pretty sure most people are about 50%-ish. I mean, you've got the above average players, the super unicorns, in the 56 and aboves. But I've yet to see a 70% player. Heck, a 60% player is hard to see. Oh yeah, by the way. Oh, he could have shoved me off the edge. But instead, he goes for a dip. So yeah, that was all fun and dandy, and it doesn't last much longer after this, so... What else is there to say? Oh yes. It, it feels more natural, I guess, you could say, recording it like this. Not because I've got ten some odd minutes to basically say what I want to say again, it's I've got time in between to say things. It's not smash it, smash it, smash it. It's what do I want to do next? I mean, I get quite a bit of time. So yeah, this has been the Desk 13. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and share the video. That helps out quite a lot. If you want to check out more of my stuff, please check out my channel. If you want to keep up to date, subscribe. If you want to get in contact with me, Facebook is in the description. Any replays you want to send, upload them to wotreplays.com and email that link to me. It'd be quite nice. This has been the Nidus 13 Signing off. Bye. We didn't even scratch them.